Before we get started, it's important to note what I'm about to demonstrate will likely change dramatically over the coming months and years. This is the first release of Bison Relay 0.1.1. The Manage Content tab in Bison Relay is a prerequisite for what could be built. This could include any number of products, for example, marketplaces, freelancer work, and other merchant services. It allows you to actively participate in exchange or trading of goods and services, either peer-to-peer -peer or peer-to-many. As said previously, this is the first iteration of this application, but even in its current state, it's not hard to see that the infrastructure and foundation is there for some pretty exciting opportunities. One idea I like is the payment mechanism for freelancer or creators that can be paid to produce, similar to that of the site Fiverr.com. For example, the creators would upload the finished work that's been commissioned, and the person who commissioned the work would be able to download. The interesting thing here is, in order for the person who commissioned the work to download, they have to pay the document download price first. For small pieces, I believe even in its current state, this would work very well. Let's demonstrate this. Firstly, click on the Manage Content tab. Here you have three options, Add, Shared, and Downloads. In the Add area, you can upload any file by clicking on the File Select button and then searching for the file you want to upload. Important things to remember here is you will charge a fee for the data you send and the person receiving the data will also pay a fee to receive. Currently, this is set at one atom per one kilobyte. It's best to aim to keep files as small as possible to reduce this cost. You should also consider this when selling your work. For example, if your document is 40 kilobytes and you want to earn a thousand atoms, you could charge a thousand forty atoms to take into consideration the fee. But you should also keep in mind that the receiver will end up paying 1,080 atoms for your work. To keep this fair, it's probably best to charge the original 1,000 atoms. That way, both parties pay equal fees. The shared preferences option allows you to sell or share your work with everyone or just individuals. My hope for the future is there will also be an option to share with a group. Next, the cost for user option lets you set your price. This can be no cost or an atom value, e.g. a thousand atoms. Currently, this value is written in DCR. My hope here is in the future release, you can change the denomination from DCR to atoms, which will remove all the unnecessary zeros for smaller amounts. Finally, you press the share button and the item becomes available for the intended recipients to download. The shared area shows the files that you are sharing with others and the relative information, including the price charged and a delete button. The downloads area shows the files that you have downloaded from other people. Presently, each time you restart by some relay, these files disappear. To find and recover these files, on macOS you need to head over to your Mac hard drive, users, your username, and then the library folder. Library is hidden by default on macOS. To unhide, do a quick search for macOS unhide library, and the solution is the first in the list. Then, application support. And finally, the file you're looking for is BRUIG. To make this easy in future, I've attached this folder to my sidebar by dragging it into position. To view received downloads, the folder we're looking for is downloads. In this folder, you can see all the people you've downloaded documents from. In the coming release, these files will be listed in the Downloads tab in the Manage Content area by default with full details. I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, there is a lot of potential for people aiming to buy, sell and exchange content on Bison Relay. As time moves forward and the product matures, I can see this being a major selling point for people using the software. Bison Relay is so much more than what it currently appears.